at this point. Well, I guess we're going to have to keep talking about the same thing next week because what we said coming oh, into this week is that week two is going to tell us where everyone's going to sit. Well, maybe not. Maybe week three is going to be the one because this game, even if there is a convincing result for one way or another, it still leaves a lot up in the air. Certainly does. And a big shout out to McDonald's Australia for their support of Overwatch Contenders Australia. Big help across the board. And hey, who doesn't love some nugs, to be perfectly honest? But let's see how Avant and Kanga Esports do go here. Two teams relatively even in ability, relatively even last year, or last season, should I say. Battle but of the winner. Time around, Avant going to get the better of Kanga to kick things off and going to make a first attempt to capture this point. Yeah, Winter with the duel against Roro. Looks like he's going to go his way. Crimson Wolf finishing things off. That's a nice pulse oh, bomb. that was great. But Chrono Donut is going to be healed up. Not for long, though, as the cap goes across to Avan. Just doing a little bit too much there. Roro gets the pulse bomb off, but no connection this time from him. Yeah, look, to be honest, that was actually a pretty impressive pulse bomb. Like, literally, right as Chrono came through the window, the pulse bomb did stick right on top and eliminated full 300 HP from Chrono, making uh, just that little bit easier to take down in the end. Avant looking uh, pretty confident here in both attack on and defense. Addy has been really been a pain for Merit so far. Got the pick early in the first fight for Avant in that respect, and again in the second fight goes down quite quickly as well. But Locus has been responding in kind. The Widowmakers both having a big impact for their respective teams. Ooh, Addy looking for the duel, doesn't quite connect. Chrono going to go down to Winter once again. Winter doing pretty good work here on the Tracer. Certainly making light work of the tank spawn now. Going to try and just bring this back, but I don't see it happening just yet here. Avant already halfway through on the first point. Looking pretty confident, to be honest. Yep, Addy with another pick this time onto Roro. Sleep easy. Oh, he gets smashed in the face. Merit. Last week we saw a lot of kills out from Merit on that Zenyatta, and that looks to be like oh, no change at all. Three from three, holding the right click, getting the headshots, and then popping the transcendence as well. Look, that's uh, I know it's less exciting, but that's uh, that's right up there for my Mac's play of the game already, Jordan. Because how often do you see that coming out? from you, Zenyatta. Well, fairly often if you merit, apparently. I was Very just giving impressive. him props for last week, and at that exact moment, he gets that kill. And uh, oh, another nice little dink across. But, gosh, he is definitely one to watch. Bit of, a bit of a battle, Zenyatta. Avant, though, with the ultimates now trying to come in for the retake. 82%, lots of time to play with. Certainly is, and a bunch of old is going to get popped here by Kanga. Obviously, they have control of the point. They want to try and make as much of this as they can. Roro getting caught out by Crimson Wolf and the self-destruct. Pushing back onto the point. Kanga in a bit of a tough spot right now, and Winter in a prime position to throw out that Q and potentially find Chrono once again, who, to be honest, I thought was going to try and get out of dodge right then. Stays on the point, does get eliminated. Avant going to regroup, recapture oh. the point, and do so Addy. with only 15% required. Yeah, God. Yeah, I love watching Avant play because they have so many players that they could just do stuff like this. It is insane. Addy last week, fantastic. Winter last week, fantastic. Crimson Wolf, fantastic last week. And also, we've got Kanga with Merit already popping off. It's just going to be another crazy match, isn't it? self destruct will catch out Numu. Great work by Davey. Will it be enough? That's the real question. Avant at 99% on the point, and Chrono's gone down. Adding in a great spot to find some kills, but will get forced back for the moment. Picks around the corner, looks for the Widow. Who's on the point? It's two players here from Kanga sitting out. They're trying Roro. to battle out. Oh my goodness, Roro finds Legabril. Roro, Dmax, Crimson Wolf. Maybe Kanga bring this back. I think they might just. SMG there for Adi. You're not so sure that was the right idea there, but Kanga do cap out the point. Mostly thanks to Roro and Merit. Avant still have 50% uh, that they can mess around with. Crimson Wolf on the self-destruct. Avant still building up quite a few of their other ultimates. For another push though. Yeah, Avant with a bit of time to work with, but they need to make the most of the ultimates they have available here to get back onto the point. Merit catches out Sleep Easy, who's resurrected again by Numu. Over the top comes to Winston along with the self-destruct. Not going to find anyone. Addy goes down to Roro. Going to get caught out there. Locus forced back. Pops the infrasight. Almost goes down. Being kept alive, however. 
by the Mercy. Jungle Jazz doing a pretty good job. Winnie goes down to Locust. If you can find another one, well, that's tough. There we go. He stays alive. Great work. Legabra will find Merit. Pushes through. Chrono to brings one back. Avant not on the point just yet. The tick's going in favour of Kanga. This is Kanga, who now has the ultimate advantage as well, Jordan. They're on the point. Potential here to lock this one down. The time is running out now for Avant Gaming. We're going to be going into overtime. They've just lost the last player there. Also, the DMET coming across. So, some trouble in paradise perhaps here for Avant Gaming, but they're still hanging in there, still trying to cap things out. They need to deal with Roro. Was a big proponent of the recap that Kanga did manage to get through, and it looks like he's going to be a big proponent of the defense that Kanga might be just about to pull off. In saying that, though, the reinforcements are now here for Avant Gaming, and the fight, it still continues. Yeah, look, this is going for a real long time right now, but hey, you might as well throw everything off it. No one from above was on the point for a while. The overtime still Merit, sitting in Kanga's kills favor, again. Jordan. Three kills for Merritt. Oh, Merritt going crazy. This is pretty good work coming out from the Zenyatta. It's almost like having that third DPS. Finally, finally, the nope. overtime looking to tick over to okay. Kanga. <laughs> Gee, Willikers. If we're going to have more games like that, this is going to be another long, long series. Merritt, I would love to know how many final blows he got because he got so many kills there on that Zenyatta. Just incredible amounts of damage being put out by him. And I they'll be disappointed by that. They had the advantage at one point, but 99 to 100. Just couldn't quite get their foot over the line in the end. But it's going to be a different kind of a, a battle here. It's a different sort of a, a point. The compositions change up quite significantly. Five, so four, maybe it's that new, three, fresh look two, that Avant are going to need to get themselves the advantage. Two, Sleep easy on the Ana. Don't see that every day. Well, that's it. You're going In fact, from, we don't uh, see that ever. From outside into the inside, Jordan. And yeah, as you said, when was the last time we saw an Ana? Like, and maybe Lucio once last for week. For that point. So. Lucio's been... Uh, yeah, Team Comp here coming out from Avant, but it's going to be Kanga and Roro who finds the Ana straight away. To be honest, and Merit, Merit just finding kills all across the map. Yeah. This guy's way too good on Zenyatta. Yeah, but Winter on Hanzo. Probably some problems for Kanga Esports as well. Finding Roro, but not able to connect the shots he needs. Still, we see Legabril in there on... Reinhardt, who last week was very good on the Reinhardt as well. Causing a headache for Kanga, namely because they're having their skulls bashed in by a hammer. That would give you a headache. Yeah, well, that would do it near a Panadol or something, Jordan. But Avant Gaming got to secure the point. And a lot of that, to be fair, behind Winter here on this Hanzo, doing a bit of damage, now has the Dragon Strike available as well. Which, again, look. This map kind of lends itself to those narrow alleyways, potential for a half decent dragon strike to come through, even without the Zarya to work with. <laughs> Winter just whiffing the entire storm. Who is there on the point? Arrow. Where's Avant? Captured back by Kanga. I, How I embarrassed. Know. I haven't got the answers here for you at all, man. Roro, D making Crimson Wolf, but there's a counteracting D mech there for Kanga as well. Legabril getting Davy. Kills though favoring Kanga right now. Merit still pumping out that damage. He is going crazy in this game. Crimson Wolf almost goes down to him as well, but Roro to finish things off. Timer ticking away in the favor of Kanga Esports. Ah, this is such an insane match. And, and a crucial match as well for Kanga to win, Jordan. Um, if they can take down Avant, they're going to put themselves in a great spot heading through to the rest of the season. They've taken out one of their major rivals for that third, fourth position as well. Coalescent's going to come out along with Roro's Q. Let's see what this Rocket Barrage can do. Does find Numu. And I guess Locust finds one as well. Avant looking less uh, less than ideal. Sleep Easy with that Coalescent. Really did manage to make that much of it, unfortunately. And Kanga sitting on five ultimates, sitting on a point capture, sitting at 55% right now and sitting one round away from picking up Lee Jung Tower. Yeah, not looking good here for Avant, is it? But in saying that, the big combo is available for them. Dragon Ball Addy with the Graviton Surge. We know what kind of Graviton Surges this guy can hit. In saying that, Kanga are very, very spread out right now, perhaps expecting it. And that's a good pick to start things off. Another one as well, Sleep Easy goes down. Both the healers down to just a Dragon Strike thrown out. I don't understand. 
Look, I said that it was maybe a, a little bit difficult to get out of the way, but I didn't necessarily mean that difficult. But hey, That's Kanga it. in a great position right now. Very little that Avant can do. Kanga sitting on four ulties. Avant sitting on five, I suppose, but we're at 90% already. It's going to need to be a decent fight coming out from Avant to first bring this back and then at least to be a hold it. Fantastic fight, isn't it? But they have everything they need. Let's see what they can do. Dragon Blade, or the Dragon Strike combo out. Let's see Addy throwing out the Graviton Surge. No real damage actually coming across from that Dragon Strike, but still Locust does go down. Earth Shatter there from Legabril, only hitting Chrono Dota. Now a Rocket Mirage thrown out. Everything is being thrown out in this fight. Self-destruct now. I might as well just read down the list of the ultimates, and I'm still not sure who this actually favors. I think Avant Gaming are getting the better of it, but Kanga, they're certainly still in there. Yeah, Avant looking to find the kills looking to pick up the point. They will be successful this time around, but literally everything was thrown into that battle, Jordan. Avant has a long way to go right now to bring this one back. Kanga in a prime position, just need to win one fight in the next minute or so. Yeah, but one fight in the next minute or so, maybe a little bit more difficult coming in on the attack than it was on the defense. Locust with the Hanzo, just spamming away, trying to charge up 75% for both him and Winter, equaling each other in terms of the ultimate charge, but no Kaya to work with for Kanga. Chrono is going to be pushing forward. Kanga trying to start another fight. Yeah, the Dragon Strike. Oh, Eden. Eden, I was going to say, it's going to be the first ultimate available after the everyone reset to zero a little bit early on in that last fight that allowed Avant to get onto the point. Roro throws one out, gets Numu, but will be poured out in return. Chrono doing a fair bit of work here, to be perfectly honest. Looking for the recapture, but eventually will go down to Crimson Wolf. A crucial pick, to be perfectly honest. And Winter getting a ton of damage across the board as well. Avant doing a much better job this time around and in a reasonable position now to bring this back to overtime. Definitely, and this is all just down to the one last fight again. The last one, I guess, went the way of Kanga on round one here, but opportunity for Avant to equalize things at one AP. Winter coming up to 90% of the Dragon Strike. Addy has Graviton Surge available, and it's thrown out, but Eden, Davey got it. Oh man, what a huge pick coming out from the Diva. The trans comes out from Kanga as well. Everyone's staying alive for the red team. The blue team still doing not too bad as well. Avant doing their darndest to try and keep this point on their side. They lose it, they lose. If Kanga drops off, Avant pick it up. And we go to map number three. In terms of this overtime, Jordan, it's back and forward. But right now, Avant may be looking like they're in the better position. Three on the point, four on the point. Surely this has to work, short of Merit pulling out a miracle. Roro swapped off onto the Tracer to try and get to the point in time, and he won't be able to. Avant, they're equalizing it at one apiece. I thought as soon as Addy threw that uh, Graviton Surge right into the defense matrix, Avant's hopes and dreams might just be crushed there, but they had enough apparently in the end. And who knows where this final round is going to go. Oh, goodness me. 200 to 99 in a row. Yeah. This is, this is close. <laughs> much much closer than uh, the century. Certainly feels like these teams are very much on par. And um, potential Jordan to go through to Ilios three from three. It'll be the first time in history we've used up all six hours of Aussie Contenders broadcast. Yeah. You won't hear me complaining. Good games, what we want to see. Close matches, close teams. We've had a ton of that so far in season number two. I'm only Two weeks in. Uh, Roro back onto the far up. Did like to play that in season one, but Winter and Addy also back onto some comfort picks. Addy did have good success on the Widow in the first round of this map. He has to deal with Locust as well. It's just backwards and forwards, 50 50. Can't really tell who's getting the advantage. This time oh, it's Addy. Addy finds one. That's Locust going to go down. The cap now going over to Avan. Looking for another one. The Diva should get picked up here, and it's going to be. Uh, Crimson Wolf on to Chrono as well, but Chrono seems to get out of there at least for the moment. Avant with the capture, you're going to be able to regroup, stay alive, and push back the remainder of Kanga here. You're going to need to reset with both Roro and Davy down. Avant looking just a little bit better perhaps than they did before. A little bit, but doesn't necessarily mean that they've got this one on lockdown. Kanga. To be able to pull something out of their hats, potentially from Merit. Up to 
close to getting the transcendence. Winter causing some problems on that tracer as well. On to the point goes Kanga once again. Roro with the rocket barrage available. Yeah, Kanga's pushing on to the point, but it's Avan who's been sitting out waiting for them, waiting for them to come in. And I guess give Avan an opportunity to bait out a couple of kills. Roro does find Legabril, taken oh, down eventually by Crimson Wolf. Legabril resurrected Transcendence on the point. I don't oh. know if Kanga can push this through, but Roro comes back to life. Maybe this will help trying to chase down Locust. That's successful. Self-destruct comes through. Are we going to find anyone not this time around? Chrono Dota. Just trying to stay on the outside, but hey, that doesn't work when Winter's there pestering you with the pistol. Maybe if Winter can get another Pulse Bomb up here, he can change the course of this battle as right now. It looks like it's going to favor Kanga, but Winter has been absolutely pumping damage out. I don't know if it's going to be enough, not with that miss, certainly. This should be Kanga being able to retake the point, or I suppose take it for the first time. In saying that though, Avant, the reinforcements have come back in. The timer has lasted for so long that they've actually managed to get themselves a second fight in this first one. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, and a lot of that going down to Winter, who somehow seemed to have stayed alive for a good 90 seconds, almost on his own right then. Kanga finally captures the point here on our third round of Li Zhang Tower. It took a long time for Kanga yeah. to get that flip across, even despite the fact that Avant were losing that fight for a while. It's just the nature of King of the Hill. Avant have a massive, massive lead here. Kanga need to hang on to this point as long as possible. Obvious to say, of course, but it doesn't seem like Kanga got the memo as Addy and Winter find a killer piece, and it's both the DPS down now for Kanga. Yeah, that's a big ass right now for Kanga to keep this one going. Davey needs to hold the point, gonna get forced back into Baby D before we go, but surely should get picked up here in very quick succession. Actually gonna be the Pulse Bomb over the top that gets rid of the Baby D. We're not so sure about that, but hey, they'll take what they can. And Vart captures the point back. It's gonna be one last shot here. Kanga to get onto the point. Merritt pops the transcendence, going to give them a, an opportunity to get through. Relatively unscathed, Sleep Easy's gone down. Kanga with the advantage, self destruct coming out from, uh, from looks like to be Avant right now, but it's the kills going the way of Kanga. Both Crimson Wolf and Winter are out. Roro on the Doom Fist, going to get picked up by Addy Avant. What can they do, Jordan? Well, they've lost the point, and it's Kanga who's got the opportunity now. Yeah, 41% though, not much of an opportunity just yet. They still have the 50 meter freestyle to go. They've got to take what they've got and run with it. Put it through to that 99-99 again that we love so much from the first two rounds. Definitely looks like it's headed that way because Kanga should have a fairly safe fight ahead of them in this next one. Avant will use it to build their ultimates, but Kanga are going to be able to throw a couple out. And that should be enough to get them through, but even still past that, Avant should be able to get one more fight in here after this one. And that's going to be the real deciding one. So Kanga needs to be very aware of what they let go in this one. Primal Rage going to be popped in by Chrono. Does find Sleep Easy. That's one down. Looking to find Numi. See you later. No supports available for Avant right now. They were on the point. But the, surely they can't find the capture. Kanga gets the advantage and continues to tick, tick, tick away. Yep. This is going to be so close to 99-99 once be. again. It surely will be. There's no way that Avant don't cap this one in overtime if they cap it at all. Winter with the Pulse Bomb. That will be crucial. Need to keep an eye on that one. Addy going to be coming up on the ultimate. Sleep easy as well. Everything's working for Avant Gaming, but they can't afford to lose the first pick. Transcendence out. The fight has started. Yeah, Roro uh -oh. still playing on the Doomfist. Cramps are all picked up. And you can see as well the Meteor Strike available here for Roro. Where's it going to be used? Very useful on a combined point like this right now, Jordan. Going to come down onto the top of Sleep Easy. Almost secures the kill, looking to find it. But Sleep Easy actually finds Roro in amongst all of that. 99-99 is the score. The team who finds this final 1% will find the point and will find Lee Jung Tower. It's Kanga really in the advantage right now, but Avant doing everything they can to bring this one back. Oh no, Chrono's gone off the edge. That's unfortunate. Legabril somehow booping him off. Not sure it's going to make too much of a difference though as the reinforcements once again coming in for Kanga. Addy on the soldier as well, gets the kill onto his counterpart. And Roro still hanging around here on the Doomfist looking for any kind of kill that can give this one over to Kanga. I'm still not sure which way this one is going to go. Well, but that's going to help. to me, looks like it's favoring Kanga. This, at this point, it certainly does. They've got a number of players alive on the point, four or five, to be honest. And as they try and push the rest of Avant off, surely, oh surely Kanga can pick this one up. This has been such a close battle, two evenly matched teams right now. And I can't believe we're at this point only in control, only on map oh number God. one. Oh my goodness, Crimson Wolf finds Roro. Crimson Wolf demex Davey. 
the sound barrier comes through. Avan on the point. Sleep easy. Almost onto a uh, sound barrier of his own. But it won't matter. Kanga find Li Zhang Tower. So close. Incredible game. What an insane first map that was. 99-99 on every single round. Overtimes, like, that was crazy. I've never seen a longer overtime, I don't think, in Overwatch Contenders. At least in AU. Yeah. Uh, so... That's boy, boy, I mean, we talked about how this match was going to be close. So far, it's exactly close. It's exactly what we said. Someone has to win in the end, Jordan. Uh, exactly, if you put right? two teams evenly matched against each other, one of them comes out ahead at the end of the day. And, well, 99-99 all the way through. You can't ask for more than that. Mm. And Kanga goes one up in this best of four. Heck, we might find ourselves on Ilios once again. Yeah, I don't think that's too unrealistic, is it? There's just so many individual plays on both sides that seem to be the difference. Like, man for man, the teams are so closely matched that it's just... Look at that. If Merit. someone can step up and go absolutely huge, that's where any given team is going to find its advantage. We saw that from Merit, obviously. We saw it from Roro, Addy, Winter. It's just been crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. Look, Jordan, it feels to me... Like, we've taken all the good matches that we wanted in Season 1. For some reason, we've decided, let's just put them in Season 2. Because that's where they are. Two very close games already today. This honestly could have gone either way. And for me, the Doomfist coming through as well. That's... I was waiting for the swap off. We didn't get no, it in the can't. end. Kane could pick it up. Though, going down, I think, in the end as well. He went down to uh, the Zenyatta. He did, but Could have been bought enough time. Close. You know, you want to get to that point quickly. Yeah. Also, quite a lot of mobility on the Doomfist. Sometimes kind of difficult to deal with because mm. he can shield himself as well. So, it's a survivability and a mobility kind of thing that's great yes. in those overtime situations. Um, and we do see it as kind of a pocket pick for quite a few players in, in that kind of a, a situation. But, look, in the end, it was enough for Kanga. Two and one. Uh, not the... Not, the convincing two and one that you would think, okay, great, Kang is going to really be able to swamp away with the rest of this series. Avant still has a lot of fight left in them. Yeah, well, a lot of fight indeed, and they're going to need it, to be perfectly honest, because now they're one nil down, and when both these teams are 50 50, that gives Kang the advantage. They only need to pick up one more to guarantee themselves at least uh, to go to that tiebreaker, potential to pick up a couple of quick wins and just sweep Avant off the table. If they do that. That's going to put them very close head to head at the top of the actual leaderboard. Yeah, that's that's the other interesting thing. Of course, Kanga, Kanga did get their win last week, but it was in overtime. So if they can get another one here, even despite the fact mm. that you know they haven't got a hugely solid win over Serenity, let's say they get another tiebreaker win here over Avant, they're still up towards the top. That's two wins on the board, better than uh, better than the alternative, which right yeah. now is Serenity, yeah. despite having two overtimes, they've got two losses. Yeah, well, that's it, right? And it's it's pretty tough to a pretty bitter pill to swallow sometimes when yeah. you feel like you probably played as good as you could, and, and sometimes it just doesn't always work out for you. So, Avant want to come through and pick up this game to secure themselves top spot on the ladder. Kanga essentially looking for the same thing here as well. Yeah. Uh, the difference though is that Avant went 4-0 last week, whilst Kanga went all the way through to the tiebreaker. Yeah, I mean, the no chance for Avant to go to a 4-0 no. today. Uh, still a very real possibility, though. I think that they're going to be able to get some maps on the board here. I'm really not uh, not 100% sold on either of these two teams just yet in this matchup, which is, to be fair, the, the storyline that we were telling coming into this one. And that uh, first map has really just reinforced the belief that this series is going to be absolutely crazy. And we might as well just be in for our third tiebreaker of the day. Look, uh, I hope you're ready for it, to be perfectly honest. It could be a long match number three. So let's go and take a look at what Avant are going to pick here. King's Row. I think that's three from three King's Rows today as well. So, um, to be honest, all the games have been pretty close, I feel, as well. So, if that's the case, if we get another one of those, it's going to be, uh, look, a real big ask to both of these teams. They're going to have to put their all in. Uh, to be fair, that's what they're doing. But Kanga now in prime position to go into half time with the lead. Avant yep. looking to even it up. Big ask no matter what. Have you changed... Your prediction at all? I said I think Avant with three won this. Um, well, well, I said I thought Avant would win. Yeah, that was my only prediction. Uh, I guess I'll stick to my guns for now. That one, that map was far too close to really make me change my prediction too much. But if Kangan gets a two-zero here, then I can start to feel like okay, you know, I think 
Kang is probably good enough to close this series out. And actually, right now, I think Kang is good enough to close this series out. It's just, yep. uh, it, it's still like, it, it's too close to call, really, isn't it, at this point? So uh, both teams are good enough on their day. We'll just have to find out whose day it's going to be today. Yeah, well, Jordan, we were about to jump into game. Unfortunately, at the moment, we're not able to do that. So what we're going to do is take a very quick break here. We'll try and get into match as quickly as we can. I want to see it. I know Jordan wants to see it. I know you want to see it. So see you shortly. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. We have forgotten what makes us strong. damage available. And Boyer has so much ability to be able to just get away from players like Linkser on the Tracer. Now, getting very close, building up the old, and there it is. Okay, the Coalescent's coming out here. Jayhong's just giving the Houston outlaws a good <laughs> hosing down. Oh, they're clean indeed. But that push from Seoul was nothing but dirty.
well, guys and girls, we're going to get back into it. As you can see, we're quite a distance in to uh, King's Rose. So sincere apologies from our side. I know that we all wanted to watch where this started off. But as you can see here, Avant Gaming on defense. Kanga Esports on attack. Kanga with four minutes to go here, Jordan. And already into phase three of King's Row. This is uh, looking real good for Kanga right now. Looks like it's been a quite a, a decent start for Kanga. Rip Tire is out right now. Well, and he does get rid of Chrono, so Avant finding themselves a bit more time. But the Rez immediately back there. Kanga continue to put the pressure onto Avant right now, which presumably they have been doing throughout this match so far. And with four minutes on the clock, that is a ton of defense for Avant to do. And to be fair, it doesn't look like they've been doing a very good job of defending at all. Particularly considering they picked this map. Davey up on the high ground, firing down onto Legabriel. Crimson taking damage. And as you can see, well, Dragon Strike pushing through, but not going to find any kills this time around. The payload halfway through to this final phase. Looking ever so close to the Kango having a great, great result here on King's Row. Merritt's gone down to Addy. Avant doing everything they can to hold this one back, but what do you even do with three minutes on defense here? Uh, well, you just try and take every fight as it comes, one by one. You can't really think about the overarching picture. Avant just need to be remembering their ult economy. Oh, that's a great shot from Locus. Straight through the shield, and immediately a Graviton Surgeon response from Avant. Yeah, that's uh, not a bad effort, to be perfectly honest. Dragon Strike, Dragon Blade anyway, coming oh, on through slammed. there. But Winter going to go down to Locust. Great work coming out from the Widow. And Kanga going to continue pushing on through. Avant in a very perilous position right now. 2.30 on the clock. The payload four metres short of the point. Who's going to dive on there? 50 centimetres remains. Literally throwing their bodies at the payload. But surely, particularly with Roro and this Dragon Strike, there is nothing Avant can oh, do here. Wow. Locust is doing some real work right now for Kanga. That's a fantastic time. Avant Gaming, they just had absolutely nothing on that defense of King's Row. Not that we saw anyway. No. Look, to be honest, for Avant's sake, I'm kind of glad we didn't get to see the first yeah. half of that side because it uh, would have been an absolute shellacking, as was the final portion. Now, Avant are going to have to attack in Kanga. They're looking pretty convincing yeah, right are, now. Look, uh, Li Zhang Tao was still quite a quite a tough battle but that was nothing of the sort no definitely not but we still have yet to see the attacking side from avant here so it's the tale of one side at the moment and we still have only half the story told mm. while kanga can have a good attacking side it's for naught if they don't have a good defending side as well so it's still up in the air but definitely that is a formidable scoreline or timeline posted by kanga and avant let's see what they can do now as they swap over on to attack Arna out again for sleep easy Needs yeah, to something yeah. He wants to jump on. I thought uh, we've seen that a couple of times now from Sleep Easy, and to be fair, not really from anyone else in season two of Contenders. Yep. Uh, again, for context, probably not that it makes any difference to Arna. We're playing on a different patch to live here. Yep. Um, a very different patch, though, to what season one was about. So potentially some of the changes, either in rosters or in terms of teams being uh, relatively close, um, maybe that can account a little bit for why we see. Some of these teams doing a better job this season than last season. Dime very much less relevant. Yeah. Uh, Sombra was very relevant last time around. Obviously, that Hanzo buff coming in as well. But I don't know if it necessarily explains an Ana. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I, I mean, no other team is running Ana at this mm. point. But this is the second time now that we're going to see Avant give it a try. Uh, assuming that actually ends up coming out on King's Row. Always paired with the Lucio. So, I mean, I'm not really sure what the idea is behind that one. I just don't see Anna working so much, I guess. You're saying you're unsure about it? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that's how I would have said it, but okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I suppose the theory is you get your, your Bionade down, yep. boost your amps it up, there's a big burst of healing across your entire team at the same time, but realistically in the situations that you're going to be able to do that, I, I don't think that that's a, something that you can really rely on so much as, as you could you know, for example, Mercy's healing rate or something like that. And, and in a meta where uh, kind of burst damage is a lot more impactful right now. You've got Widowmaker, you've got Hanzo, yep. two, two heroes that can really kill things fast. Uh, the, the slow heal rate that Lucio does give out, I'm not sure if that's so relevant. Yeah, I think, th I think literally 
Uh, the only buff we've seen to honor in this patch, I think maybe the ability to shoot through heroes. I'd have to check to see. When they're full HP. Yeah, yeah. Income maybe not going to play out. But again, it's very tough, particularly um, when you don't have the mercy. Again. Yeah, there you go. Sleep easy. Uh, changing off for the moment, at least. We'll see what the end result is and, and what he ends up playing. Um, for me, it's real tough, though, when your opponents have, have snipers and you yeah. don't have a mercy. Uh, the inability to resurrect players on your team, the inability to give yourself that one extra life every 30 seconds or so, yeah. it can be real tough. Well, this, this composition makes a lot more sense for uh, Vaan because they're going for that death ball. They've got yep. Lucio for the speed boost naturally. Sleep Easy on Moira does have a lot of AoE healing. Just going to keep every one of those tanks topped up, ideally speaking. And Winter just going to be diving in, causing a ruckus oh, already. Man. Roro goes down. Jungle Jazz. Under pressure as well on that Mercy. No res is, or the res is not going to be there, surely. Jungle Jazz actually goes down. Great start here for Avant, but Winter's dropped as well. Good response from, uh, from Kanga. Yeah, it really did look like perhaps Avant were going to get the better of Kanga here, but for now, Kanga holding strong on the point. Avant looking for one third, but probably not going to be successful this time around. Legabril unfortunately going to charge into the wall, going to go down to Davy as well. Avant going to have to reset, I suspect, behind the loss of that Reinhardt shield. Looks like the perfect start for Avant, but just not quite enough as Kanga responds in kind with a couple of kills of their own. Just enough to keep them alive. Winter goes down to Roro, and that is going to allow Kanga enough time now to fully reset, really. I mean, Avant still have got control of this high ground, but now Kanga's not so much under the pressure anymore because they're waiting for Winter to come back. 91% on Winter's Dragon Blade Sleep. Easy now with the Coalescence coming across. Yeah, absolutely. Three ultimates available now for Kanga Esports as Winter gets back into the action. That Dragon Blade is now available, but two picks going the way of Kanga. Make that three with Addy going down to Locus. And Kanga looking real strong in defense so far. 230 is what Avant has to work with. Their first push was okay. It wasn't good enough, and now they're going to have to rethink this plan. Unseen. Yeah, Vant. No one Are they going to make the change? Well, Legabril goes over He's with the Winston. Aside from that, not really much changing up here. Sleep Easy on the point there on Moira, but Winter again gets picked off early. Hang up. Great work on the focus fire on Winter, and there's nothing that Vant can do now. He's no. have to back off, reset. With this number of good picks coming across from Kanga, Kanga really not taking much damage in the process either. So they're going to keep building up their ultimate charge. Merit and Jungle Jazz both with ultimates available. Avant, on the other hand, look, they've got a bit to work with. Maybe they can go for what I call the hole in one here, Jordan, going the um, the Graviton Surge into self destruct. That could help out. You can hear the Graviton Surge being thrown out by Addy. Crimson Wolf not around to throw the self-destruct uh, out, however, not going to happen. And Merit jumps into the middle of it with the uh, with the Transcendence. But maybe this is the time that Avant can bring it back. Winter Vines 2, including Merit and Roro. The damage not going to be as successful this time around for Kanga. Avant on the point. There's one third. Looking to make it two right now. But Kanga, maybe they can bring this back. It's going to be a tough ask. It is going to be a tough ask, but if, at the very least, they've bought a lot of time. Remember how quickly Kanga managed to cap out here on King's Row? Well, Avant has taken them a, a large portion of their time to try, actually try and cap this one out, and they're still having to fight for it. As Chrono jumps in there with the Primal Rage going, he's got two healers behind his back, so he's going to be quite safe for the moment. And Avant came in there still not being able to cap this first point out. Yeah, it's really going to come down to the two ultimates coming out from Avant game here on their uh, oh support. My. Numu and Sleep Easy available. The kill's going Avant's way at least, even though that Dragon Strike essentially drove down the center of the pack. But Avant finally manages to capture the point and does so just into the nick of time. Three minutes on the clock now for Avant to work their way through phase number two here. But honestly, Jordan, I am not feeling confident for Avant at all, nor no, no. for my prediction of Avant picking up this uh, best of four. Yeah, definitely not. Kang is looking like the better team right now and they buy themselves about 30 seconds extra with that last prolonged fight on the first point. So Avant have a little bit less time to work with here. Two and a half minutes, not a lot, especially when you consider even if they do cap it out, what's ahead of them. Kanga have done a really, really good job so far on the defense. It's just a case of making sure they don't let it slip here. And map two will surely be going their way as well. Yeah. Addy with the Graviton Surge only hits Davies. 
Yeah, maybe not the ideal Graviton Surge coming out there. You can see a Transcendence coming out from both the Barnes and Kanga, keeping everyone alive. That's why they're all still kicking right now. Finally, as that Transcendence goes down, so does Sleep Easy. Crimson Wolf and Addy both finding kills along with Winter there. Avant on a bit of a roll right now. That payload should be able to keep on moving. Davey here holding the ground, doing his best. Finally gets d and removed along with Roro and Avant. Managing to get a bit of a roll on, giving themselves a little bit of a better opportunity here, but Kanga still in a pretty good spot. Not sure that Kanga is going to be able to contest this second point. They are close by. I mean, the Winston can jump in there if they really wanted it to, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's too great of an idea. Still, they're going to go for it. Let's see what they can do. Maybe they had the players where I didn't think they did. Yeah. Chrono does have the Primal Rage actually as well. So. Looking okay now for Kanga for the moment. Lego Brill being forced out of the fight, being isolated from his team, but still managing to get stuff done. Locus under pressure now. Yeah, Lego Brill with his own primal rage to pop and will do it in the nick of time. Right in the back line, Merrick goes down along with Davy. Graviton Surge is used by Avant Winter. All still available there with the Dragon Blade. Not going to be needed right now. Avant managed to secure themselves phase two. Phase three is where we're at, but as you can see, if you look at the clock, yeah. Two minutes, not much to work with, and even then, Kanga with the time advantage if we do have to repeat this over again. Clock is working in the favour of Kanga. Avant need to have a fantastic Phase 3 here to make sure that they don't cap it out in overtime, give themselves a chance still to win this map. A tie, not really ideal for Avant when they're down 1-0 and zero at this point, but I guess better than a loss. Self-destruct comes through, not going to find anyone. Really not much damage either. The Transcendence comes out, but not from Sleep Easy. He's still keeping that one in the pocket of Un. On the payload, looking for the picks. They're getting the picks they want right now, and it's Dragon Blade up against Dragon Blade. Who's going to get the better? Merrick goes down to Winter. Winter trying to chase another. See you later, Jungle Jazz. That's both supports out of it right now for Kanga. Avant with the player advantage. Avant pushing forward, and they need to. They need to get this payload all the way through right now if they're going to have a shot. And when we go to phase number one all over again. It's going to be Roro versus Sleep Easy here. Roro's got the Dragon Blade Transcendence out early though from Sleep Easy. If Roro can pull off this Dragon Blade, it could be huge. Finds Addy. That's his start. Lego Brill's gone down as well. No tank here as well. Great work from Kanga Avan in a bit of a difficult position right now. The payload has stopped. Kanga managed to get their foothold ready. And it's one final attack coming out from Avant here. What can they do? Oh, oh well, Avant, best case scenario now. Are they going to be capping it out in overtime? I don't think they're going to knock over Kanga in 53 seconds, having not even started the fight yet. And Just in that case, it's Kanga's map for the taking still. The tie would be the best scenario for Avant at there. Winter swapped off. Going on to the McCree, which we did see him have success on last week. But now it's desperation for Avant. They must cap this one through. And the battle going on really quite far forward here from Kanga. They found themselves a great spot. Let's see whether they can hold it. They certainly don't want to get caught here. Winter goes down for a bunt, less than ideal. What can they do? Self-destruct available. But Legabril's picked up as well. The Primal Rage not even popped, Jordan. Self-destruct coming out from Kanga. Sleep easy has gone down to Roro. 14 seconds on the clock. Avant nowhere near this payload. It's a real tough odds now for Avant to get onto here, and I think Kanga's got this one wrapped up. Who is going to push forward and get on the card? I don't even know if anyone can make it right now. Two seconds, yes, there is the reset for the leap there with the Primal Rage of Legabril, so he'll get on the card, contesting for overtime. Crimson Wolf goes down before getting back into the mech, and now it's really on to Winter here. Keep your eyes on him on that tracer. Maybe can make something happen for his team. Look, Jordan Winter made some big plays before. I don't know if he's up to it right now. Legabril has gone down to Merit. Avant is sitting on the payload. The trans has gone through, but Roro with the Dragon Blade. Who can he find? Sleep Easy's down. Jungle Jowls is down for Kanga. And Merit finds one. It looks to me like Kanga Esports are cleaning Most up. Bump. Doesn't hit anyone. Addy's still alive on the Winter and actually doing so much work right now, but it's just the DPS left alive for Avant Gaming. They're hanging on. Legabril in the mix as well, and Kanga, I don't even know, this is another one of those fights that we saw on Lijiang Tower where it just goes on forever and Jordan. no one seems to lose. Mate, we're into overtime, this clock ticks down so quickly, Kanga have the spawn advantage, Roro back on the Doomfist, Chrono Dota goes down, maybe Avant has a shot, but it is a, such a huge ask right now. Surely Yvonne can't do this. Surely <laughs> Kanga are able to lock them down. And Ooh. as soon as everyone's off that payload, it's going to be 
game over. Another pulse bomb out there from Winter, but it's not going to be enough. Kanga, they hold on. The defenders' advantage, the trickle, just proving to be too much for Avant Gaming. And it's 2-0 now for Kanga. Another ludicrous fight toward the end there, but it really always felt like it was Kanga's map to lose yes. after that attacking side that they pulled off. Look, we talked about how well Kanga did at the start, and whilst it was pretty exciting to watch Avant try and capture through to that third phase, third, third phase, third phase with the payload. Mm. The reality is, even if they did it, still like two and a half minutes for Kanga to work with. The result, they didn't even get it all the way through. So Kanga, clearly uh, the better team in this situation. They did a pretty good job. Yeah, they did. Avant, you just got to think like, what more do they have to do? Those fights last forever. They just can't find that little bit. It's going to put them up over Avant Gaming, at least not on these first two maps. We've still got two to go. The series is by no means over, but Kanga is definitely looking like the better side right now. Some pretty good plays coming out from Kanga, actually, though I was impressed by Avant's ability to uh, to hang on in the end there. Alas, it wasn't enough. But Kanga now going to be 2 nil up in this, uh, well, this four-map series between them and Avant. Two teams sitting towards the top of the ladder for their group, Jordan. And both of these teams really playing maybe that maybe even two three four spot who even knows at this stage with what we saw from masterminds like, a little bit earlier on these teams probably could end up in first place for all we know like dark sided looking weak earlier on who knows what can happen and with this group anything is a possibility it's just been an insane day so far today even last week like some of the results were like oh okay yeah so if that <laughs> progression continues into next week i mean i don't even know what What's going to happen? Well, Elfish Guy, today has been absolutely crazy. We still have another two maps left of Overwatch Contenders Australia. Week number two, we're going to take a very quick break for half time. And when we come back, can Avant bring it back? Will Kanga jump to the top of the ladder? We'll see you soon.